Let's follow that um, idea further that the final image is due to interference. I'll dim down the light a little and put into the first focal plane of the condenser a slit, a simple slit diaphragm in place of the pinhole. And you see, as you would expect, that the diffraction pattern now consists of multiple slits rather than multiple pinholes, and they're arrayed left and right because of the um, arrangement of the lines on the object. We'll put into the second focal plane of the objective, back focal plane of the objective, another slit like that, which as you can see, because the thing is um, swivelable, can be adjusted in its angle. The diffraction pattern that you see up there looks pretty similar to the one that you've been seeing so far from the pinhole, except that the individual beams are square rather than circular. That maybe isn't a major difference. And so if we look at the image that derives from that diffraction pattern, you can see that it is the old familiar image of a series of vertical lines. I'm going to do here a very simple experiment that has fairly deep consequences. If I do that for dramatic effect, remove the image for the moment, I'm simply going to twist the slit that's in the back focal plane of the objective with respect to the slit that lies in the first focal plane of the condenser. And we'll see what happens. There's the image. I'm now going to twist the diaphragm and you'll see that resolution in the image has disappeared. Return it to its normal position and it's come back. Twist it the other way, resolution has disappeared. So here we're losing resolution simply by twisting the slit in the back focal plane of the objective with respect to the slit in the lower focal plane of the condenser. We've got a full set of beams contributing to the image. We've got the zero order, the first on the left and the second on the left just coming in, and the same on the right except that it's fallen off the top of the screen. We've got a full set of beams, and yet, for some reason, they're not able to interfere. Take it back again to its normal position, and in this position, they obviously are able to interfere and give us the black lines in the image. What could be the explanation of that? Well, this could be a moment to stop for some discussion. I'll just stay silent for a few moments while we might do that. Well, the answer is that the when we have the slit twisted, that the beams that are making up the image come from different parts of the source. Therefore, they're not coherent. And because they're not coherent, they can't interfere. The zero order comes from the top of the screen as we see it there. The first order on the right comes from some distance lower down the screen. The second order comes from lower down again and so on. They all come from different parts of the filament and so they don't interfere. To me this is the most convincing demonstration that the final image is due to interference. So, thus far, I hope you'll accept that the image detail in the final image is due to the interference of the diffracted beams. And the only parts of these beams that can interfere are coherent parts, parts that have come from the same source.